Where do you kind of feel you are in your in your rehab in your comeback? Why would I wouldn't want to be? Right where you want to be. Uh, what are what are some hurdles you need to still clear? A lot of things, man. It just you know, I'm free pain and try to keep that way, and um, feel like I'm close six percent and keep building day by day. All I can do that. Did you say sixty percent? How long have you been doing workouts like that? I can't tell you all the things. Well, you can tell me that. <laughs> um, like a couple days, a couple weeks, or? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I try to, like I said, build day by day, and whatever they want from me, I try to do that. So I'm not really focused on getting what I want to be, but uh, of course I want to be somewhere, but uh, I try to listen to my team and, and doctors and everybody around me to do it the right way. So. It's been tremendous and it's difficult right now watching, but uh, I just need to be smart with, with decisions. And uh, I feel pretty good what I am. Is that the most you've worked out, what we just watched? Is that about as much as you've done? Uh, like I said, I can't tell you everything, but uh, you know, I did you know, a lot of stuff during my rehab and now it's just to build on those stuff. And I think one, one of the stuff you just see, it's I've been doing for a little, little while. You guys have been so careful not to place a timeline on anything. But do you have like a, a goal or a target date or anything no, like that? No, really. Um, it's not about one game or one season. It's more about life. I want to be healthy when I'm done playing basketball. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like I know what I can do and how much I mean for this team. But at the same time, they know I give everything what I got. And those, you know, last year, what I, you know, I feel like I give the best from me to the team and now it's just part they need a way on me and um, whatever that day is and when Blazers fans see you video of you doing what you just did they get really excited what was it like for you to return to do stuff like that it doesn't matter for me doesn't like um, really? no you know I believe everything happened for a reason and um, for me I know I'm gonna be okay with this but it's the next next step you know as soon as it's the right time to be with the team more and more. And that's really matter how you feel after that, how you feel during that, with the contact and a lot of check marks I need to still get there. But it's amazed me how I feel, what I've been through, how it went everything down. It's amazed me I have no pain, which is which is tremendous. So I really try to, to be on top of that so I can maintain that. Do you, can you think about it at all when you're out there right now? Like, do they, people talk about that mental hurdle? Nah, they talk about more my hair. Now I want them to talk my head, man. So, it, you know, I keep messing with the people and they, know, they don't know about that. So I think for me, I know I'm going to be okay with the head. I just need to know when I'm 100% because I, I can't pick and choose when I'm going to play. When I'm out there, I'm give whatever I have for that game. So I play as hard as I can. So I think for me, it's more safe and um, to be just 100%, whatever that day is. And I can't know that. Well, more, more just about the idea that sometimes when you have an injury like that, like to get back on the court. I don't care about that. No, my head is good. So. With Nurka, I mean, besides the, the physical aspect that you have gone through, I imagine this has been a mental journey from the time you broke it to, to getting here. Can you describe? Uh, like I said in a, in a press conference, I think for me mentally it's going to be okay. And I've been through a lot, you know, like all the people in the world going some hard time, but I feel there's nothing compared to the people in the street, compared to the people who don't have you know, no money to live. And they struggle out there more than I do. So for me, just mentally, it's hard to watch my, my brothers out there play and I can't you know, be out there with them. And I know how much we didn't show yet how we are. So I think we better than we show, but we gotta show that, you know, so. Is it especially hard seeing them not play very well for that you can help? Not necessarily. Now, you know, of course, it's better you, you like top of the bottom of the West, so you need to be, you know, in a playoff picture, you know, but it's early. And, you know, I understand people have disappointment, but injury sucks, man, and they're part of the, part of the job, part of the life. And um, I think for me, it just I need to do whatever best for me and the team. So I think as far as I'm struggling how they play, and I can't play. But at the same time, they understand what I am as a, as, a, as a person, as a player. What was the low point for you? 
basically nothing. You just go day by day. You know, you can't you can't rely on what's gonna be tomorrow or in a week, in a month. Um, like I said, it's been journey, but um, it's been really I've been really blessed how everything goes. You know, day by day, and um, I just try to keep it as simple as, as I can. As you keep crossing off these benchmarks, and you get closer and closer to returning, do you feel like anxious? Do you feel excited? Like, what's that like getting closer and closer? I feel hungry. hungry. You know, I feel every day hungry more. And um, when I'm with the team, I feel even more hungry. So I felt, you know, I lost some weight and I feel great and more explosive, more and more, more quick. And I just feel like when they come, I'm going to be the double beast, so it's just how it is. This and one got me excited. Yeah. Is this, are you doing this every day? Or are you skipping days? <clears throat> no, it's a, it's a rehab schedule. If I'm doing this every day, I probably play already. <laughs> but um, like I said, it, it's, it's important to be really smart what I'm doing. And I feel like people around me and team was really careful about that. So I think, you know, first of all, I. I forget to tell thanks everybody who who did the, the support, you know, to my injury. It was it was amazing with the billboard and, and stuff. It just it, it mean a lot to me. And um, knowing that people want to see, want to see my practice and stuff, you know, I just try to keep as simple as, as I can for me. And um, and they probably gonna understand later when I come back and see how I how I gonna be. You know, I'm not expecting myself to just do the rehab. I want to get better. So I want to get better as a player. I want to get better as a person. You know, I see a lot of things differently from the from the court, from the bench and, and on the locker room. I've been there like um, like a totally different person to see the different perspective. And um, I feel like I can help even more. How long have you been pain free? From the four, four, after four weeks when I walk. You mentioned uh, you felt like it was time for you to get back on the road. Uh, why? I just want to be in the team, man. Like, um, as the closer I get, and 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 uh, as the, as the time go on, I feel like they they need to feel my presence because I am a present, and um, they know that. And I feel like I try to help the people. Like, I you know potentially can't talk with them, but the, you know they obviously need to play. They need to figure out. You know, you, you have some stuff you can't teach. You know, obviously you need to read the game, where the game give it to you. But I feel like definitely we still try to looking for ourselves to, to find where we fit and that's a problem like you can't really rely too much in the season to figure out you got to figure out at the end of the day we are human beings and you know what take you know takes to win you said your your weight's down what what do you weigh right now i said i can't tell you everything well, yeah, so that's what you keep saying like you you're, you're asking for <laughs> <laughs> nah i'm i'm good man my weight going to be great on I lost like more than 10 pounds, and 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 it just getting more muscles and uh, and getting more legs ready. You know, my my legs big big part of what I do, mm -hmm. and for the most of the career I've been really you know good with that. So it's about load and and how you want to prepare yourself to play more games and more minutes, and um, that's you know all I care about. How are your skills? It looks like you're shooting the ball. Right. You feel like your skill, your basketball skills? Touch. I just said it. Like I want to be better through this process. I'm not just trying to do rehab to be healthy. So if, if it's a time right to to get better, I'm gonna find a way to get better and and to to shoot more and and you know I know my skills and like I said, not necessarily all the time I do my skills. I do what's the best for the team and um, a lot of times it just stays that way. You know a lot of players don't want to accept their role, but they have to, you know. I feel like we have an experienced team. They've been around the league already enough to know what kind of role they, they need to play. So I think for us, it's just mentally now to be ready to, to sacrifice something for the win. Do you ever allow yourself to think about that moment when you do return to the court, you return to a game? Do you ever think about that, what that's going to be like? Moment of uh, returning, like yeah, the fans? Yeah, when you join a game or, you know, the, just everything. I'm nervous about that, but, you know, all I know when the when the whistle blow up, I, I'm going to forget about that. So it's going to be interesting part from, from the time the ball go up. But from that moment, I know I'm the safest place I can be.